guys, babes, it's your girl Joy back with another video. This is another quick lunch, honey. I got me some, was it taco meat? Yeah. Taco meat, but it's ground turkey. You know, I want to be healthy. <coughs> uh, anyway, and some sour cream. And I put some Cholula in the sour cream because the container's almost done anyway. How many minutes I got? Nine. Oh, God. Nine minutes to eat. I still need to go to the bathroom. I'm making my taco right now. I still need to go to the bathroom. See, it, it's not right, y'all. It's not right. Let me just, ooh. You know, sister needs to eat. But baby, I had to do it, y'all. I had to do it. How y'all doing? You okay? But I had to do it. Mm. Mm. She good. Mm, there's some Cholula up on the air. Hope I don't get any on my shirt. But listen, listen, listen. I don't like calling parents. I don't like emailing them either. But sometimes you gotta call in the big dogs. And baby, I had the email. I sent out 161 emails. Because I don't know. These kids feel like they don't need to do no work. Mm-hmm. She's good, y'all. Mm-hmm. So what we did was ground turkey. Put the little taco sauce up in that packet. Now, if I was making it, I would have added a whole bunch of stuff, but Vegas can't be choosy. Mm, not bad. Does it taste different with turkey? Good, a little healthier. Mm hmm. But when you eat my parents, they was like, my child said he did this. My child said he did that. And I'm like, ma'am, there's a zero. There are no uploads. There are no attachments. There's no additional information. Not done. It's like, can you just take my word for it? If I'm telling you I don't have it, I don't have it. Now, of course, mistakes happen. But let's just stick with it. Believe the teacher first. Mm-hmm. Because kids, to save their tails, they're going to say whatever. <laughs> they're going to say to save their hineys. Better believe me. And as a teacher, I'm not going to lie. I want the kids to hand in their work on time. I want them to do all their assignments. I want them to pass all their tests. So if I break down and call you or email you, I'm desperate and I'm looking for a partner. Better believe me. So I think that's one of the tough parts of being a teacher. It's like we always have to defend ourselves and of course, you, you want to believe your child. But by the time a teacher is emailing or calling you, the teacher is desperate. They need help. And so we end up making that dreaded phone call. And so sometimes with good phone calls, with bad phone calls, you got a few good ones. So I try to make a few good phone calls too. But baby... When my grade book starts looking like parting of the Red Sea and it's just red everywhere with a whole bunch of X's and O's, we have a problem. I don't want my grade book looking like that. That's not cute. I want my grade book cute with all passing grades. Mm -mm, not red, emergency, 911. I need assistance. 
SOS. That's when we're desperate. So best believe when teachers reaching out, we're looking for help. We're not looking for blame. We're looking for a partner. We're not looking for the antithesis, the antichrist. We're not looking for that. We're looking for, I got your back. Let's do this together. Because sometimes it takes a village to raise a kid. And honey, we need to do it together. You got my back, I got yours. <laughs> got your kid for almost a whole day. How about that? Well, at least 55 minutes. Which is long enough. All right, y'all. I'm going to wash this thing down with some water. These kids going to have to wait. I need my water. <laughs>